so that's what we do when we start we Review games whether they're good or not From the graphics to gameplay beginning with a plot Nothing will stop us from reaching the top 500 subs in less than 3 days These motherfucking idiots thinking it's just a phase We suffer through damnation and even haze But we come through cause we're here to stay So we're going to be reviewing Overlord 2 today. Uh, Overlord 2 is actually a sequel to a uh, much underlooked game, uh, the original Overlord. And Overlord 2 actually takes place uh, later in a different time period, kind of like in the Roman era, and uh, has to do with a new uh, basic Overlord coming into power. And the game is uh, you going along trying to control different areas and basically be a evil dude. Hooray! That's basically it. Uh, the the best part about the story is obviously the humor of the minions. They're kind of they kind of look like uh, gremlins, and their job is to make you laugh by killing themselves or doing stupid things. And overall, it's an entertaining and humorous story. But uh, it's it's not the greatest or in depth story ever. So the graphics of Overlord 2 um, are actually a real uh, improvement from the first game. Um, other than like the first game where they're more blurry and shit looking, uh, these are a lot more crisp obviously since they c came out this year. The design's really great, you got a more medieval style. Uh, the model for the Overlord looks really great. He looks a lot like the first one except he's wearing a wolf jacket or whatever. And he looks like a greaser, but whatever. Anyway, the graphics are uh, they're really well done. Effects look nice. The minions look really great, which are a really cool feature in the game. Everything just looks great. You know, it's a really pretty game, and uh, there's a lot of detail. I mean, it's nothing really special, but it's definitely an improvement over the first. Uh, I mostly agree. The only problem I have with the graphics, and I usually don't care about clipping too much, but when you send your minions in the houses, and then they, like, you can see them, like, go through the houses and stuff, uh, kind of takes away from the cool feature that they're taking down a house. But uh, besides the little clipping and uh, graphical bugs and all that, the actual graphics were uh, pretty much well done. Yeah, I thought they were nice looking. The You know, like the snow effects and stuff, and you walk into the snow. It looks nice. It's definitely better than the first one, but that's not saying much. That came out three years ago. There's some weird-looking character models. Some of them are cool. Your actual, the dude you play, the Overlord, he looks really cool. Uh, but some of the minions look weird. Some of them look funny. The CGI cutscenes were actually really well done, also. It's, it's, it's colorful, they got the cute minions, they got the, the environments look cool. Um, it's so pretty. It, it, you know, it's, it's definitely an improvement over the other one, and this one doesn't have as much slowdown or just issues in general that the first game had graphically. The general gameplay of Overlord is similar to, uh, if you want to compare it, uh, Pigmen mixed with Fable, but not as good as either of those separately. What I mean is, you can control these minions. You, there's four different types. You got the blue ones, the red ones, the green ones, and the brown ones, and they all have their special abilities. The brown ones are best at fighting, the green ones can poison you or take poison in, the blue ones can swim, and the red ones shoot fireballs and all that good shit. There's really, there's no new minions in this one's kind of a disappointment, since uh, the first one has the exact same minions. But, uh, Anyway, you use these four minions, you control them, you can uh, take certain amount of different ones and mix them up to do the puzzles and fight. And uh, that's basically the main gameplay. It's like Pigmen, you basically send them out to fight for you. Uh, then, as your regular guy, you can use an axe, a sword, a hammer, and a bunch of different weapons that you can get throughout. And uh, use them to attack your hack and slash attack. You just keep pressing the one button. And uh, you also have magic in the game, which is more useful than the first one. Uh, you have a set magic in which you can use electricity or actually throw your minion into someone and so on. So overall, the game the game plays pretty good. It's just uh, it mixes two different genres into one, basically. One other um, additional element to the gameplay is actually your castle. Uh, you get to upgrade your castle and actually uh, get maidens and everything. Uh, you can buy different weapons, of course, and you can actually, you know, make them. You got, like, sacrifice minions and shit. Uh, you can upgrade your castle. Uh, you can even resurrect old minions. Uh, you can fuck your maidens. Uh, you can upgrade your spells. It's a nice feature, you know, and it's definitely an improvement of the first game. There's a hack and slash, and you have minions. The end. And I will interrupt you there, because that's all you've got to say. Hey, they, <laughs> um, it definitely, again, it... it, it they are improving off of the older game. I, I do feel that they're 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 adding just a little bit um, more than the previous Overlord game, and it, it's just an overall. Um, in, in all terms, it's an overall smoother package. As 
So overall, I really do enjoy Overlord. I like the first one, and I think, uh, as uh, Slasher said, it does improve in a lot of sections. Uh, especially the minions use, they're actually useful all the classes instead of just the browns basically being the dominant choice when you pick your minions to fight. But my main problem is the game is just too long. And you would probably say, how is that a problem? The longer it is, the more you get for your money. Well, the longer it is, the more boring it can get. So it eventually gets boring after, I don't know, 12 hours into the game. It's like a 20 hour game. And uh, I don't think any of us finished it simply because of that. And uh, the only and the other problem I have is I don't know where the game will get ridiculously hard at points. Uh, but overall, I do enjoy Overlord. I enjoy its concept. I enjoy being this bastard who kills everybody and sends little gremlins to fight for him. But uh, it just to me it has to have a better pacing and it just takes way too long to do everything. I would most likely agree on why you win this. I definitely enjoyed this more than the original, but uh, like he said, it is a little bit too long and it did get pretty boring real fast. Uh, yeah, I did have some fun time playing. You know, it was kind of an enjoyable game for me. Uh, I always liked Overlord's gameplay, but uh, overall, it just it, it was just felt too boring. Uh, I mean, there was quite a bit of glitches, just like the first game in it, and that kind of affected it for me. But uh, overall, it was definitely an improvement over the sequel. I enjoyed it quite a bit, but uh, it wasn't anything mine. Just reiterate basically what you guys said. Uh, it, it, it was a better game overall than the first, and, and you could see that the team got more time and were able to put more effort into it. But again, the pacing just felt a little off. Uh, I was enjoying it up to a certain point, and then it just kind of it just grew really tiresome. And I, I don't know, for, for, for us saying that, I think that kind of says something. Okay, for the first Overlord, I only played the demo. So when I played this, it was pretty much my first time playing an Overlord game fully through. Now, I didn't actually beat it. It's too freaking long. But to be honest, the hack and slash was fun for about maybe two hours of the time I played. But then it got really boring. And then they introduced some things like you could fix up your castle and stuff, get new weapons. And it still didn't really really make me want to play more to be honest and the minions were funny but i mean shit there's games out there that's funny that i mean i'll still i'll still play them anyway yeah i didn't really enjoy it that much it was kind of fun but then it got boring so yeah overall not really it's main problem <laughs> fuck alex you <laughs> fucking coughing and sneezing <laughs> fucks up this review <laughs> anything slasher uh it yeah i think it looks looks good <laughs> 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 the most, looks better than the first. 